Hello, precious standards. It is Lakedra. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have come on this Friday evening to share with you all another word of encouragement. Precious standards, hold your head up high. You who are in Christ Jesus, for it is not over for you. There is no failure in God. You who are in Christ Jesus. I want to share this precious word with you. People of God from Colossians. Chapter 1. So you will be encouraged. Many of you all that are looking at that situation in your marriage. And you are seeing things. Looking like it is over for you. That spouse of yours. May be out of the home. Or even in the home. And is so distant from you. But I want you to hold your head up high. You have Christ living on the inside of you. So I want to give you this precious powerful word of encouragement. To build you up in your strength. And cause you to hold your head up high. For Christ is the lifter of our heads. In Colossians the Bible tells us. In chapter 1, I want to start in verse 26. Paul says this. This message was kept secret for centuries and generations past. But now it has been revealed to God's people. It says, for God wanted them to know that the riches and glory of Christ are for you Gentiles too. And this is the secret. Christ lives in you. This gives you assurance. Of sharing his glory. And remember the glory. Is the totality. Or the person. Of who God is. So you. You have Christ on the inside of you. You have put on the life of Christ. You are everything that Christ is. There is no failure in Christ. There is no defeat in him. Christ has overcame death, hell, and the grave. And that situation that you are seeing in your life will not defeat you come to know who you are precious standards you have been given power you have been given dominion you are far above all principalities and powers and wicked spirits that are in heavenly places there is no failure in God and with God being in you there is no failure in you. It's all about your faith. Your faith in who God says you are. Look into Christ who is the author and the finisher of your faith. You are being tried and tested precious standards. Count it all joy when trials come your way James tell us. For it is the trying and the test of your faith. It is to develop in you the strength, the empowerment, the endurance. It is to make you stronger in God. It is to enrich your life so you won't be wanting for nothing. These things that have come up against you are for your own good. God is restoring everything back to Christ's glory in your life. Your marriage is truly as Christ. It is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. And because of you precious standards, as Paul tells us, that spouse will be saved because of you who are partakers of the divine nature, which is Christ Jesus. Everything is being restored back because the Holy Spirit rests up on you. Just like in the beginning. When the earth 
was empty and void and darkness was covering the waters. When the Holy Spirit came, God spoke and brought forth light and restored everything back in six days. God restored everything back and made it perfect. Just think about that. The earth represents the earth that was dark and empty. May be where you feel your life is today because of that situation. But I'm telling you, it's time that you be awakened and enlightened to the truth. The Holy Spirit who now resides in you. There is coming light. That light in the beginning was Christ. That light spoke of Christ. And now Christ, your deliverer, who now lives in you, who now is on the inside of you, now you are sharing his glory. Receive it, precious standards. That means that marriage that was empty, that life that looked empty and dark and chaotic and void, everything is being restored back. The years, the locusts, the canker worms, the caterpillars has eaten. You are going to see everything turn back to God's original intent. This is why God showed us in the beginning what happened. God took a broken world, a broken earth, and turned it around the moment the Holy Spirit came. And the Spirit of the Lord is Christ, the Bible tells us, who Paul said lives on the inside of you. You are about to share in his glory. Are you about to receive everything God promised you through faith in Christ Jesus? Remember, he is the vine, John tells us. And we are the branches. You are about to bring forth the fruit of Christ's life. You are about to bring forth his glory and his life in every area of your life. You are one with Christ. You are his body, precious standards. Get ready for what is coming your way. Call your marriage already healed, people of God. Call those things that you don't see right now in your life. Call them forth as though they already are. Because they are. Because you have the glory of God on the inside of you. Now is time to bring them out. By renewing your mind. By getting yourself. In alignment with the truth. And it is this truth that sets you free. Take a hold of it. These troubles. They are only given. They, are, they only come forth in our life. So that we can tap into the things God had already in store for us. As your faith begin to increase and you come to the knowledge of truth or who you are in Christ Jesus. You're going from faith to faith to glory to glory. You're going to begin to step out into that divine calling of who God has created you to be. Calling those things that be not as though they are. Hallelujah. Decreeing and declaring a thing. And it is being established unto you. You rule it and have a dominion over all the power of the devil. You in that home causing the things of God to rest in that home. In that home and in that life that was once broken. Divorce is not your portion. Separation is not your portion. Your marriage is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one flesh. It is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. You have the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are healed people of God. Thank the Lord for the life of Christ. Thank the Lord for your healed and restored life. Praise the Lord. You have the victory. You have already overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of your testimony, you have already overcame the devil by your faith in Christ Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you, people of God, can prosper. 
Everything is turning around because of that light, that glory in your life. Praise the Lord. And I wanted to encourage you, people of God, with this quick word so you will be encouraged. Your life is already healed. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You have Christ on the inside of you. You have already overcame the world. You are blessed. Hallelujah. A light that was once broken in a marriage is gone from ashes to beauty. All because the hope of glory, Christ lives on the inside of you it is not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord people of god you are going to see restoration and healing come forth in your marriage that same power that raised christ from the dead dwells on the inside of you Quickening your body, quickening your life, meaning restoring it back to God's original intent, making it whole and free again. Remember, he became a curse for us. He redeemed us from it all that we will receive the blessing. These are the rewards, says the Lord, and the inheritance to those that are in Christ Jesus. Those that have received the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Things are getting ready to turn around. People of God. God has already redeemed you. He has already gone ahead of you. That marriage of yours. Is blessed. Speak blessings over that life. You and your spouse. Are being one and like minded. Submitted to one another out of reverence for Christ Jesus. For he loves you. And these are his promises. These are his promises to them that love him. Jesus said believe you receive all of his benefits. And they will be yours. Hallelujah. Your marriage is restored and shall be greater than it ever was before. Just like in the beginning when darkness was covering the waters everything was empty and void but when the spirit of the lord came there was liberty that is a picture of your life that has gone from darkness to light hallelujah so now i want you to join with me as we pray and come together and thank god for his holy word and promises praise the lord father i thank you for everyone that has joined me lord may you help that individual who are struggling help them to see lord god who they are in you lord thank you that each and every one of us who are in you sharing your glory we have your life our marriage is healed our spouse is saved and delivered and free thank you lord our marriage imitates yours where our husband love us as you love the church and we wives Submit to our husbands and everything. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you that we are blessed. We are not under the curse. You have redeemed us from the curse when you bought us back with your blood. We praise you and thank you, Lord God, that our life is going from faith to faith and glory to glory. More and more of you will be seen in every area of our life. And all the people of God give you the praise. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' holy name. And we all say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has joined me. And Lord God, we just give you the praise for what is coming our way that we have been hoping for in your precious son, Jesus' name. Remember, God loves you, people of God. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.